Welcome to another video. My name is Sander and we are at Murphy's Point Provincial Park. Stick around and I'll exactly show you why you should visit this park next. Murphy's Point Provincial Park is located south of the town of Perth, about an hour from Ottawa and three and a half hours from Toronto. By default Google will send you this way, it's only 5 tons maximum, so know your trailer weight. Our trailer fully loaded and truck fully loaded are very close to that limit, so we're just below it, but anything bigger than our trailer I would not recommend going this way at all. The water spill station is uh, is located as well as the dump is located before the registration so if you come here you have to go to the registration first loop around and then get your water or dump now the setup is interesting um, it's a pretty tight corner uh, luckily we don't have too big of a trailer there's only one fresh water fill it is a threaded hose so if you have a water fill you can use that the dump is right there so you can bypass it but uh, it's only one water fill and one dump there is also the garbage here as well overall pretty tight as you can see so this is our site here at site 8 it's right next to the bathroom and the recycling The next morning. So there was a bear overnight here, as you can see by the evidence here. And apparently he broke into the garbage right there, which is right next to our site. So apparently this is what the bear did. Several bad puns later. So one of the things I noticed at the park is just the amount of fireflies everywhere. I've never seen this many in my life. Point Provincial Park is a relatively smaller park with only two campgrounds, Hog Bay and Hardwood and Follows. And there is group camping, there's two comfort stations, one near Hog Bay and one in Follows. There's two beaches, the main beach and the Deus beach. There's one boat launch, there's a total of nine trails in the park and cell phone service is not the greatest with Dallas and Kudo. Meanwhile, keep an eye on wildlife at Murphy's Point because it's everywhere. area we uh, launch our kayaks here because right there where the little sign is that says no motorboats it takes you to Hogs Bay over there is Big Redo Lake same over there there's a little island here and there's lots of docks here for fishing Main beach area, there's a little playset for the kids. Beach area, and there's a little picnic shelter to hang out on sunny days. Now, the other thing is, you can launch your canoe kayak paddle boards right here as well. So this is the day use beach area, it's a small but nice little beach. Now they do have some program here at the park as well, so every day several things are going on. The other nice thing about Marty's Point is you actually get a decent brochure rather than just you know the, the printout um, or the one pager that a lot of park now will give you. So there's the camps store here the park store where you can buy your necessities if you forget something of course you can buy your ice cream 
The other thing is you can buy your firewood and you have your rentals here as well. So fortunately the visitor center is this year still closed due to COVID. So at 2 p.m. daily at the park store, they bring out the, uh, the rat snake to, uh, to talk about it if people an opportunity need to touch. So yeah, pretty cool actually. So I uh, definitely recommend here 2 p.m. every day. So we're at the silver mine uh, open house. The parking is by the Lali Homestead, which is right here. So even if you're early like we are, you can take the time and explore here. the open house it seems to be every Sunday in the summer there's tours on Saturday and Wednesday Sunday is the open house so there's not necessarily a tour but you can still explore the mine you get a nice little hard hat like this so you don't hit your head everywhere Definitely watch your head while you're in here. This is the McFarlane Trail. It takes you to the house. It's about a 2.8 kilometer round trip. And so far, it's pretty easy. And this is also one of the trails that you can actually do by bike. And again, it's only 2.8 kilometers, so either take a little strill or take it by bike either way it's pretty easily accessible McFarland House Trail. It's a pretty nice trail. Easily accessible. You get to go into the building, which is pretty cool. The other thing is, if you just want to hang out by the lake, there's a little path to the lake as well. So let's go check it out. Explore Hogs Bay with the kayaks. So we're gonna launch them at the boat launch and then paddle Hogs Bay. Now this is also where you can find, if you're lucky anyway, some mica. You can go to the waterfall and the main beach is there as well. So if you do go that way and you launch at the boat launch, just hang it right the moment you get there. You can explore the whole Hogs Bay. You can even portage to Loon Lake. You could even go around the park if you wanted to. So we're just gonna explore Hogs Bay. So come with us.
This is Hogs Bay. If you launch at the boat launch, you just hang a right, and that uh, takes you on the Hogs Bay. Now it's a pretty calm lake, great for paddling, great for spotting turtles. There's literally tons and tons of turtles, mica. You can find some mica in, uh, in a particular bay here. So yeah, overall a very nice calm paddle. <music> Bay just uh, across the beach there's quite a bit of mica that you can find here which you need certainly after you visit the mine seeing actually some in the water is, uh, is pretty cool here you can find a ton of mica if you look at the bottom of the lake all that shiny stuff is mica which is pretty cool to see certainly after you visit the, the mine To rescue this turtle here he's stuck on this uh... okay, now you'll try and save him about Murphy's Point. Murphy's Point is a great park. There's lots to do. It's clean, staff is friendly and it's great for kids. There is a playground area. There's several beaches. They're not the biggest beaches but nevertheless they're great great beaches. But that, the other nice thing about Murphy's Point it's unique. There are some items that are unique about the park such as the Silver Mine Trail that 100% recommended. So there are guided tours uh, every Wednesday and Saturday in the summer. There's an open house on Sunday where staff dresses up um, in time appropriate clothing for that area, which again is a very cool thing. The other nice thing about the park at 2 p.m. daily they take the gray rat snake out um, in front of the park store where they talk about the snake, you can pet the snake if, if you want to. So that's another un unique thing. There's a boat launch, very nice boat launch that uh, takes you directly on to Big Rideau Lake. When it comes to paddling, either with your kayak, stand-up paddleboard, canoe. You can launch them at the boat launch and then take hangar right uh, and go into Hogs Bay. Very nice area to paddle, lots and lots of turtles there. There's a nice little waterfall that you can take it to and a swimming spot as well. So that's another great thing. The park itself is clean, staff is nice. The only thing is if you have a trailer like we do, it's very, very hilly. Specifically, if you have a weight distribution system, Make sure you take it off uh, prior to entering this campground, otherwise you may have a chance that you bend the frame. The other thing is be careful what you leave out overnight. Uh, last night we had a bear here, uh, we're right next to the garbage and recycling section and the bear just tore down the door. So don't leave your food out, uh, lock it away. But yeah, Murphy's Point overall is a great park, we definitely will be back and in addition to that if you're looking for more provincial parks to visit, go check out this video where we visit the six best provincial parks in 2022.